All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to make GIFs quickly and easily and for free online using easygif.com. So let's say you have like an idea for a funny joke that needs to be punctuated with a quick animated GIF and you don't have expensive software on your on your computer to make it. Well, you don't really need that anymore because there's a creative website to create just about anything, if not for free, for cheap, that's powered by ads in a lot of cases. So with the easy GIF, all you have to do is go to the website. The logo is the website, but I'll also link it in the video description. And you can go to the GIF maker. And from here, I can choose a video file from on my computer. Let's say I want to tweak Snow White in the padded room into an animated GIF because I think it's a funny illustration of how you feel going back to work on Mondays. And then from here, we've got some different options at the top of the screen. We can convert this to a GIF. We can convert it to a WebP image. We can convert it to an animated PNG. We can crop it if we feel it's a little too big and we want to kind of make it smaller just to fit in as small a space as possible, but still get the joke across. We can also reverse it. If this was an animated video, we could mute it if it had audio, but in this case it doesn't, and we're also turning it into a GIF, which doesn't have sound. You can cut the video, you can change the speed, add subtitles, or whatever your heart desires. Um, actually, subtitles might be fun. Let's add a subtitle to it real quick. So I'm going to say, like, start at current position, and then we're going to have it end at the end of the video. And then we'll have it say, heading back to work on Monday, like dot, dot, dot. And then let's add that subtitle. I kind of want it at the top, but subtitles are usually at the bottom of the screen. So that kind of makes sense. So I'm going to say that's good. And then from here, we will click on convert that to a GIF. So now it's got the subtitle at the bottom of the screen like I want it to have. And then I can go ahead and convert that to a GIF. Now there's a couple other options I kind of skipped over here that I can go over now. Um, you can trim it by just saying I want from like second one to second two. Like I can set a position by, by scrolling here, set position, and then here set position, that's the only thing that will be cut and turned into an animated GIF. But in this case, I'm just gonna set it from zero to the end of the video. And down here, we've got a couple of sizing options and what you want the frame rate of the image to be. So you can set it to be, you know, 600 by 600, 800 by 800 pixels. There's some presets down here that are nice for things like Tumblr. You can make it 504 pixels tall by whatever the original video was wide, but like scaled down. And you've even got some larger ones for animated banners as well at the bottom here. But I think 800 by 800 is probably more than enough. This is 10 frames per second down here, and that's honestly not bad. Um, when it comes to animated GIFs, more is not always going to necessarily be smoother, but let's just for fun, we will bump that up to 25 frames per second. And then the encoding method, this is the newest method, the fancier method, the FMMPEG. Uh, you can also use some of these older versions that can change how it looks, but for the most part, unless you have a reason to do that, I honestly wouldn't. And then you don't really need to optimize the background being static and then the character being the thing that moves on top of it. That would allow you to have some more dynamic range of color if I remember how that works correctly. Uh, Photoshop's animated GIF feature had a very similar setting, but this doesn't have enough going on that I'm too terribly worried about that, so I'm not going to check that option. And then I'm going to click on Convert GIF again with our new settings that I just explained. And that... You know, that actually does look a fair bit smoother. Sometimes extra frames matter when it comes to uh, GIFs. Sometimes you don't necessarily notice it because it's a kind of a choppy animation to begin with. It just depends on what your source material is. And then again, from here, we can make yet another edit. 
We can censor her eyes if this is like a person in real life and you don't want to get in trouble for doxing somebody or embarrassing somebody by putting their real identity out there. You can add like a meme text to the bottom of the screen, but I've already done that with subtitles, so I don't really need to do that now. Uh, you got all these other editing options that are kind of self-explanatory down here, but mostly what I want to do is click the floppy disk icon to save this. And then we will save this as Snow White Crazy on Mondays. And then that will be saved to the folder. Let me go to my examples. And then here you can see Snow White clapping away. And now I can make this joke online and just upload this to places like Discord. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at how Easy GIF makes editing videos to and from animated GIFs easier and allows you to add different things to them. I'll dive into some more of what you can do with this software in following videos. I hope you found this helpful and I will catch you next time. Have a good one, everybody, and bye.